Hello everyone, my name is Armando with Universal Shine. Thank you for joining us here once again. Um, today I wanted to briefly discuss a couple of things that I felt are pretty important that you need to know about. Um, this is all related to the labor contracting law that became in effect on January 1st of 2018. This video is geared towards property managers and realtors, essentially companies that hire service providers like us uh, and send them, you know, and, and where we send employees to your properties and homes to get them ready for tenants. Um, so the two sections in this book that I want to point to, and by the way, if you haven't read the book or if you haven't gone to at least browse it, you might want to go to the Bureau of Labor and Industries website, so BOLI, and look for the handbook for the Oregon Property Services Contractors. I'm not going to ask that you read the entire book. That's something we're having to do. But I will say, highly recommend that you go to page 18. The two sections I want to point to are, so the law, 99% of the law talks about what our new responsibilities are. Um, but on page 18, it talks about what a customer's responsibilities are and how you can be held liable if you don't do this. So the duties of persons using companies like us. So it says prior to allowing work to begin on any of your properties, you must do two things. It says you have to ask us for a copy of our license um, and you also have to retain a copy of the license on file at the property. So that's part number one. The second part is a little bit more alarming. It says if you don't do that, how can you be held liable? So it says any person who knowingly uses the services of an unlicensed property services contractor is personally, jointly, and severally liable for two things, it says. Number one, any, any unpaid wages. So let's say you hire a cleaning company that is unlicensed. They send multiple employees to one of your properties and that of course incurs a lot of wages. If that cleaning company shuts their doors, goes out of business and fails to pay any of those wages, the law says if you knowingly hired an unlicensed contractor, you're held liable for those wages as well. Um, thought that would be pretty important to share with you. So any unpaid wages and other damages as provided by law. Pretty general, which makes it a little scary. Um, the other thing, so part two of that are civil penalties. It says, in addition to liability for unpaid wages and other damages, persons using the services of an unlicensed labor contractor may be assessed civil penalties of up to 2000 per violation. So once again, in the, in the handbook, labor contracting in the janitorial service industry, page 18 and 19, you'll find these couple things I mentioned. Uh, feel free to go and research them yourself. I encourage you to. Uh, last thing I wanted to talk about is this very moment, and I've, I've spoken with the Bureau of Labor and Industries myself, we have yet to receive even a temporary license to operate in the state of Oregon. So I would assume that the majority of cleaning companies out there are the same. Uh, this, is, this is due to the backlog. So in speaking with them, we, we have submitted our complete application with everything that they're requiring of us to uh, before the January 1st deadline. Uh, they did give us a receipt. So if you wanna go ahead and ask the current cleaners that you use or any janitorial company you might use to service your properties, they should at a minimum be able to provide you with a copy of the receipt that the Bureau of Labor and Industries gave them when they submitted their application. So at the end of this presentation, actually within a couple seconds, we'll post a, a visual image of the receipt we received. Um, so after that receipt is given to the contractor, um, shortly after, whether that's a week or a month, we're sent a temporary license. After that temporary license is issued, we're given about 30 days to pass a, a um, licensing test. Once we pass that test, we're then given a license. So thank you very much once again for spending these couple minutes with me and look forward to hearing from you guys soon in case you have any questions. Call us at 503-567-2479. Thank you.